advised us of this. They've known this person a really long time, uh, well, a long time, and trusted them and thought it was a good deal and that we should go look at it. So I did. Um, if you look at the post, they're telling you certain things that are gonna be red flags for you. And one of the things that we found that was a red flag after the fact, after we found out this was a scam, was that comments were not allowed on the post. Now, if you think about this, why are comments not allowed on this post? And it's got to be because the scammer doesn't want you to be alerted by other people like us making comment that this is a scam. Mm -hmm. The third red flag is buying something and they're saying it's very urgent that it gets sold. Or the urgency could be on your part uh, when it really is not an urgent situation. The next uh, red flag for this is, is the deal too good to be true? Mm -hmm. And it, as, a, as a general rule, we've always heard that. I know I have since growing up. If a deal's too good to be true, it probably is. And in this case, it was. And we want to show you a little bit about why we, that should have set off our, our antenna for red flags, mm -hmm. right? So the first thing was we, uh, we were looking for a uh, golf cart. And, and this is golf cart that you see on here was what they advertised. Uh, we also talked about, as Beth was saying, we wanted a trailer. And they had this trailer uh, advertised. And then they had uh, a, a uh, uh, riding lawnmower. And all of this was going to be $2,000 for all three of these pieces. Now, if you think about that, that's maybe a third of their value, right? So I let greed cloud my better judgment and cause me to, to go forward with this when I should have known better, when we should have known better. Mm -hmm. So the, the deal being too good to be true was what uh, kind of cinched the, the problem for us. Number five is the person that is um, doing this scam is saying that they are, that they know you or they know a member of your family. Just because you know them does not mean that the social media posts are from them. In this situation, the person that scammed us took uh, the uh, Facebook identity, uh, changed the password and the way to get in, and locked him totally out and was scamming his friends and family. And one way that, again, another red flag that could have saved us from getting scammed was the item not being available for inspection beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, the person that Beth was purported to talk to uh, said that they were out of town for the weekend. They wouldn't be available. You wouldn't be able to go see it right now. Uh, but if you put a deposit down, we'd hold it for you, right? Now... The way I look at it is, and I've always looked at it this way, and I don't know why this was any different, but it was, if you can't touch it with your bare, with your hands and see it, then I don't buy it, right? If I can't put my hands on it and see the person and look them in the eye, I don't buy that, that, that piece. Number seven on our list of red flags would be that that a deposit is required to hold this item. Um, if, it, if the deal is that good and you know them, they should be able to hold it probably on your word. It's still my word is my bond. And if you know my family member, if they know this person really well, you know me really well, then you're not gonna ask me for a deposit. You're gonna say, okay, that's great. I'll, I'll get with you next week and we'll settle the deal. And the final uh, red flag that we wanted to kind of point out to you was that the bank warns you about fraud. Mm -hmm. So you know, as you can see on, on screen, I got a text message warning me from my bank 
about uh, a fraudulent activity. And we always say that if the bank, you know, uh, tells us that it is fraud, we should probably stop the, the transaction, even if you knew the people, uh, the person that you're, that you're dealing with. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you've known them for 50 years, you should stop the transaction, talk to the bank, talk to them, straighten it out. And if you have to go to them with the cash, the person that you're trying to deal with, don't deal with, don't let the bank um, go through with the transaction. Right. And Beth can talk to you a little bit more about what, what occurred this time. This time, I thought this was my fault. I thought that they had submitted the transaction because I had put in the security code wrong too many times. Again, early in the morning, lots of things going on. I wasn't paying attention. So I put this in wrong and I had requested several security codes. And I thought that because they spent it because of that, but when I called, that was really not what he was saying, but it didn't, didn't sink into my head this time. Again, being distracted. And um, I could have stopped it right then, but I did not. I, I just was in a hurry and I said, I assure you we know who this is, I, you know, I've checked, go ahead with it. And he told me right then that it's so easy when you transfer money like this through your bank to lose it because you can't get it back. We were told through the fraud division whom I called after this happened that you're probably not going to see this again. Sometimes the bank that it's transferred to will send you your money back. Sometimes they'll send you half your money back. But probably at the very most, they're going to stop these people from doing Zelle with that account. But they'll just go out and get another account. So this was a big lesson for me is this should have stopped me dead in my tracks. Even if the other flags did it, this should. And I ignored it and went right on through. And, you know, the, 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 to do a riff on a famous line, greed is not good, right? Um, when I saw that this was such a good deal and we could get this, this great deal on these things, it clouded my better judgment and led to me doing something that is, quite frankly, and, and our children and our, the people who know us would say is out of character for Very us, out. right? Uh, we're very cautious about how we do things, um, and and one of the one of the reasons that in the past um, we've had a problem with that, where uh, I went to a, a computer big box store, uh, I gave the the salesman my credit card and to buy a laptop. He said, "Let me go and see the manager and see if I can get you a better deal." So he walks off with my credit card with my debit card to the front comes back a few minutes later, we finish the transaction, and by the time I get home, the bank is calling us to let us know that there were uh, suspicious activity occurring on our on that, that card, um, and they, they tried to charge thousands of dollars with it. Apparently, he sold the number uh, to someone else, uh, and that guy uh, ordered things uh, and even used his own address. <laughs> ordered pizza delivered. Yeah. Who, who does that? So... <laughs> But the one thing to keep in mind here is that the police didn't do anything in that in that instance. So it's up to you to keep yourself from this happening to you, yes. right? Um, I'm always very cautious when it comes to credit cards now. If I, if I give it to someone and they try to walk off with a no, let me get it and let me pay for it, you know, at the front or whatever. Um, but this was something new. This was a new a new thing, and I have to say. That we this we're taking this as an internalizing this as a lesson for us, right? It's a it's an expensive lesson. I grant you that, but it is a lesson, and we're taking it that way. And we wanted to educate you, the viewer of our channel, with these uh, with these things, right? Social media is a dangerous place, and it's easy to get scammed on them. And if we can get scammed, we thought we were smart enough not to get scammed by something like this. But it can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone at any time. No one is immune from it. Even a member of our family <clears throat> said to me yesterday, um, I can't believe y'all got scammed. If that had been us, you would have been preaching about the red flags. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this happened to you. Guess what? It can happen to anyone. 
and it's not only financially um, bad for you, it's emotionally. You feel like um, you, you've been scammed, you've been had, you should have known better, you beat yourself up. The person who referred this person to you feels bad. The guy who had nothing to do with it on Facebook, it was not his fault, he feels bad. So it's a dominoes effect. And we're here to tell you that uh, it's hard not to feel bad about falling for something like this, but it happens all the time. And this information we're sharing with you today is what we want you to take to heart. So maybe it doesn't happen to you too. And <clears throat> the one thing that we're, we're preaching uh, because <clears throat> we didn't do it was that if there's something, if there's one of these red flags that you see or that you feel that there's a problem or there's something's not right. Number one, if you feel it in your gut, we always say, don't do it, right? Go with what your gut says. Mm -hmm. So if there, if that happens, stop. Put a pause on the transaction. Just wait until you can see the person in person and verify that they actually have the object. You can put your hands on it or and, and have the person call you and, and meet with them personally. If they won't do this stuff, then run away. Run away from the transaction. Ignore it. Do not do it. That's right. That's right. And... We appreciate you being on this channel and watching this video all the way through. And we would uh, ask you to thumbs up and subscribe to us. And we will have more videos of an educational uh, manner. Probably not about scams, but... Let's hope not. Let's hope not, yeah. <laughs> um, but we will have more information in the description of the video uh, about your resources for... Uh, scams uh, and frauds and how you can uh, help yourself after you've been victimized. So uh, we appreciate your patronage. Yes. Again, please subscribe. Please thumbs up. We love you. Bye. Bye.